What up, that's the his squad, and welcome back, guys. Here's your boy Sean. And your girl. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. How are you guys doing today? We hope you guys are absolutely amazing. Yes, guys. Have you having a rough day out there? It's okay. Let's turn around right now with some good energy and some good content. All right. Most definitely. So, my lovely wife, who we have today, babe? What we got? Okay, today we'll be reacting to Whoopi Goldberg breaks down over losing lawsuit against Jason Aldean. What? First of all, Whoopi. I didn't know Jason was suing Whoopi Goldberg. You guys sent this Whoa, to us. Whoa, Nelly. We reacted to the song, Try This in a Small Town, and the comments went wild. This is getting a lot of attention right now. I'm so interested to see what's going on with Whoop, uh, Whoopi Goldberg and Jason Aldean. Wow. She oh. breaks down a losing lawsuit against Jason Aldean. I didn't Aldean. know they were in a lawsuit. This is getting Please don't out, tell out me hand. this is over Try This in a Small Town. Please tell really? me this is not over that song. Please. I think it's going too far. I can't take any more. Guys, we already, you know, reacted to the video. We, you know, it got so our much own backlash. opinion, it was not racist at all. You know, it was just protecting your community and your town. That is it. And don't come trying that over here. That's all I got from it. Most definitely. I didn't get a black and white thing. I didn't get a racist thing. Most I didn't definitely. Get a, you know, color was not thing. mentioned in this song. But let's get to this let's video. Let's go into it. All right. All right, so, guys. Guys, before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on your post notification bell so you guys are notified. We're going to go ahead and dive into it. Here we go. All right. It's the number one. Good energy. Good content. Here we go. Let's see what we got. This is crazy. You know, when you're a certain age, you use words that you know from when you were a kid or you remember saying, and that's what I did today, and I shouldn't have. You've gone too far. I don't understand how he could be that disconnected, how people around him didn't say to him, hey, listen, you know what? Maybe there's a better way to do this. And I'm trying to say this. This is not about race. It's about people getting together, acting right, acting like you got some common sense. There's a lot. In the realm of Hollywood, few figures are as iconic and influential as Whoopi Goldberg. Known for her extraordinary talent, boundless charisma, and groundbreaking achievements, she has risen to become a legendary figure in the entertainment industry. However, fame and success do not exempt celebrities from the complexities of legal battles. As demonstrated in a recent turn of events that left Whoopi Goldberg grappling with emotions like never before. As fans and followers of her illustrious career, the revelation of Whoopi's emotional struggles and raw anguish came as a stark reminder that even the most celebrated individuals endure profound challenges beyond the glitz and glamour of stardom. In a shocking twist that captured headlines and sparked public interest, Whoopi Goldberg found herself embroiled in a high-profile lawsuit that challenged not only her professional professional integrity, but also her well-being. They take pictures and then people say, hey, what is that? Or you take a picture of Nelly. The one and only Whoopi Goldberg has landed herself in yet another controversy, and wow. this time it's looking serious. Buckle up as we dive into the nitty gritty of how this beloved celebrity found herself in a sticky situation that could cost her big time. So the country singer Jason Aldean has been stirring up quite the storm with his latest song, Not in a Small Town. And as fate would have it, this hot topic made its way to the set of The View. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jason, and uh, we're on the set of my brand new music video for try that in a small town again working with my favorite where Whoopi and her fabulous co-hosts didn't hold back their opinions Jason Aldean's most recent song try that in a small town faced significant public criticism following the release of its music video while the track was initially launched in May it surged to the num two spot on the Billboard Hot 100 only after the music videos recent premiere the video portrays protests and confrontations with the police which contributed to its controversial nature Despite the widespread scrutiny, the song remarkably defied the odds and managed to secure a high position on the music charts. As a testament to its popularity, the music video has already garnered over 22 million views. 
Now, we all know that Whoopi Goldberg is never one to shy away from speaking her mind, and boy did she do just that. She slams Jason Aldean's left and right for the message conveyed in his song. It's safe to say that things got heated, and Whoopi made it crystal clear that she found the song's intentions questionable. But here's the kicker. It seems like Whoopi's fiery comments might have landed her in hot water. Rumor has it that Aldean and his team are seriously considering suing the legendary actress for the remarks she made on national television. And we're not talking chump change here, we're talking about a potential lawsuit that could have her facing the loss of everything she's worked so hard to achieve. I respect everything everyone is saying to me and I, I you know, I don't want to fake apologize. Following the recent release of the song, Whoopi Goldberg shared her thoughts. right there for a minute. Whoopi, it's not that serious. I don't think that's her lane. To even jump out there. Oh my gosh, this is as scary as, because she could lose everything she's worked hard for. Yeah, I mean, what we has been be working before I was born. To a career, like, is it is it worth it? Uh, but you don't, but you don't speak out against these rappers. That's shoot them up, bang bang, kill them, kill them, kill them. You <laughs> come into my hood, I'm gonna blow your brains you out. To, you need to check them people because this this song right here is just you know. All right, let's just say we want to find a new house. We're going to look for the, the safest town, the safest spot to move our family. Most definitely. Point, point. That's all the guy's saying. Right, I mean, is, people don't understand how scary these things are. Like for people to take peaceful protests and start destroying property, um, killing people, destroying police cars, fighting the police. Where do we I have mean, that's that scary. I'm, why are people not understanding that that's a scary thought of someone coming in, coming into your town, creating a ruckus like that? I mean, all Jason Aldean was saying was, stop it. Try this in yes. a small town. And like, we're not going to have that here. It's just a song. It's not an aggressive song. It's not a, you know, let's go hurt somebody. Let's go kill somebody. It's basically saying we got to protect everything in our town. Every store, every gas station, um, the, the, the food market, we got to protect this stuff, you know, because this is how we survive. This is how we live in our community. This is going way too far. Here we go, guys. Sorry, oh, I had to stop Lord. it, but come on, Whoopi. Thoughts sparking even greater chaos and discussion surrounding the track. In a segment on The View, Whoopi Goldberg strongly criticized Jason Aldean's Try That in a Small Town. According to her, the portrayal of imagery related to the Black Lives Matter protests in the music video was unjustified and raised serious concerns. She stated, He's got folks from the Black Lives Matter movement and he's talking about people taking care of each other. And I find it so interesting that it never occurred to Jason or the writers that that's what these folks were doing. They were taking care care of the people in their town because they didn't like what they saw. Joy Behar and Sonny Hostin, her fellow co-hosts, vehemently criticized the song, branding it as deplorable and annoying. Why? As a lawyer, when I put my legal hat on, yeah, okay. I don't believe in censorship. Right. However, this man is from Macon, Georgia. This triggered a significant wave of backlash from the fans. She continued, just like you talk about people taking care of each other in small towns, we do the same thing in big towns. You just have to realize that when you make it about Black Lives Matter, people kind of say, well, are you talking about black people? What are you talking about here? After the show, a news outlet reported that Jason intends to sue Berg, Sonny Hostin, and Joy Bihar from The View, alleging that they called him racist during the broadcast. The news publication, The Dunning-Kruger wow. Times, published an article titled, Jason Aldean Files Defamation Suit Against Whoopi, and The View, wow. I'm No Racist. According to the article, Aldean has filed a $40 million lawsuit. You know, something that was just um, sort of crapping out, you know, and I didn't really know what it was. And so it took me a while to, to realize and even... Seeking counsel's advice for the legal action. Jason Aldean's attorney, Joe Barron, was quoted saying that Whoopi must be held accountable for her actions. If this information is accurate, Whoopi could be faced with a substantial financial penalty, given that all evidence against her has been documented online. Contrary to rumors being circulated online, Jason Aldean is not filing a lawsuit against Whoopi Goldberg and The View over their critique of his latest track. The piece published by The Dunning-Kruger Times is entirely satirical and devoid of any factual basis. Due to the backlash and criticism received by the song, with people interpreting the lyrics and video
video as being deeply personal to black people and viewing it through their perspectives, Jason Aldean took to Twitter to clarify the song's inspiration. He stated that the song refers to a small community where he grew up. Interestingly, this isn't the first time Whoopi has faced threats of legal action. Several years ago, Kyle Rittenhouse, the teenager acquitted after a shooting incident during an anti-racism protest in Kenosha, Wisconsin, also declared his intention to sue Whoopi Goldberg. Appearing on Fox News Channel's Tucker Carlson Tonight, Rittenhouse announced the launch of the Media Accountability Project. Well, Tucker, thank you for having me. Um, of course. Me and my team have decided to launch. Aimed at raising funds to take legal action against media companies and individuals, including Whoopi, for spreading false information about him. Whoopi these controversies have led to her suspension from ABC's The View, triggered by her remarks claiming that the Holocaust was not about race. The news of her suspension was confirmed by ABC News President Kim Godwin. She claimed, effective immediately, I am suspending Whoopi Goldberg for two weeks for her wrong and hurtful comments. Kim Godwin, president of ABC News, wrote in the statement, While Whoopi has apologized, I have asked her to take time to reflect and learn about the impact of her comments. The entire ABC News organization stands in solidarity with our Jewish colleagues, friends, family, and communities. Earlier, BT had reported an incident on an episode of The View, where Whoopi made insensitive comments during a discussion about a Tennessee school district's decision to remove Art Spiegelman's Pulitzer Prize-winning graphic novel, Mouse, which focuses on the Holocaust. The removal was based on concerns about inappropriate language and nudity in the book. Whoopi stated, Let's be truthful. The Holocaust isn't about race. It's not. It's about man's inhumanity to man. That's what it's about. These are two groups of white people. Afterward, Whoopi Goldberg issued an apology through Twitter and a press release expressing, I'm sorry for the hurt that I have caused. She also reaffirmed her unwavering support for Jewish people worldwide, stating that her commitment to them remains steadfast. The View subsequently invited Jonathan Greenblatt, the CEO of the Anti-Defamation League, to guide them in a discussion, with Goldberg stating, I know a lot of people were upset about what I said yesterday and the things that I regret, so I wanted to clear this up. Due to the recent drama and rumors being spread about Jason suing Whoopi Goldberg, fans have taken the internet by storm. A tweet from a user on Twitter stated, I hope Jason Aldean takes everything from those vile creatures on The View. It's time we all made people like like Whoopi pay for their bullshit. However, Whoa, the tweet no. was later deleted and his account got suspended due to a violation of the Twitter rules. Remember to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe for more insightful content. Let's be a force for good in the entertainment world. Stay awesome and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Woo, Woo now this is deep right this here. This is deep. Okay, so they mentioned how... This is deep. Okay. They mentioned that Jason Aldean is from Macon, um, Georgia. Georgia. Small town. That is a predominantly black right. so um, city. How do they come up with this racist town. scenario? And, you know, when you're on a huge platform like The View, you got to be careful of what you say. Do you, I mean, you got to be really careful of how you, you know, um, judge people. And criticize and stuff like that. I mean, because you got millions of people watching. It works both ways. It's like, wow, man. Even though I'm a black woman, I have to say this: it's people can get in so much trouble for the language that they use against black people. So it should work both ways. It should. It you should, be a should also have that same heart for a white person because Absolutely. you could be putting this man's life in jeopardy if you start to deem him as a racist and it seemed like you cleared it up like this is not a racist song from the jump that's what he said it's his song nine times out of ten he probably wrote it so if this is what he's saying he's clarifying that from the jump and you're taking money out of his pocket because now you're saying he's a racist you know how many black people love jason right. Dean? And it's like, you know, it's almost like you're turning people against them. Oh, uh, this is a deep, touchy situation. Seems um, like Whoopi has been getting herself into a lot of trouble here lately. It seems like Whoopi needs to retire with the money she got before she don't have none. Before you have none on They Whoopi. might come after you, Whoopi. <laughs> Be careful. Auntie, <laughs> Please. you might want to just take a seat. Yes. Okay. Do some movies.
<laughs> we enjoyed your career, all of your amazing Those color movies. Those purple, all of the movies, man. But Flash Jack, it's a whole bunch of movies. The mouthpiece is just getting you in a, into a lot of trouble. That oh, tongue can really get you in a lot of trouble. Woo! And everything that you work for can be stripped from you just like that. Fired, suspended, you know. Um, and I know you enjoy your job. And your the career. president did the right thing by suspending her for two weeks. You know, you have to handle situations like these with you know, urgency. Yes. And um before they get too far. I, it seems like she's been going on for yeah, for some like years been now. Having some 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 things to say about certain people she's, and it's like, uh, okay, and she, she, she also says she comes from a time where, you know, she could say certain things and this ain't the time on This is twenty twenty three. Twenty twenty three. A lot of things are like is a lot of hate groups it's, have been formed and you have to be yeah. careful. Be because careful. it's very touchy subjects. Absolutely. You have to word these things differently and you're in you have to make sure that your intentions yes. are clear. And, and choose concise. the choose the correct words to use. You know, just don't you know, use the first words that come to your mind and you just blurt it out. No, you yeah, can think I about mean, this. Because it's millions people of people are influenced by you, Whoopi Goldberg. Absolutely. You have to most definitely be careful. I feel bad for Whoopi in a way because it's like she I is kind of old. Oh, of course. I feel of bad course. for this guy, man. He put out good music. Most and the, definitely. And it's, and it's one song that he want, you know, for the for the world to hear his most perspective. Definitely. And he's getting all of this, this hate and, and all this criticism, like for what? I mean, I totally agree with Jason Aldean. I heard definitely. songs that's twenty times worse. Twenty times worse. I don't worse. see Whoopi, you know, getting on the View saying uh, to the rappers saying how they would shoot the inners up, come into their Damn. hoods. I mean, shoot you up, bang bang, I kill you. Where I, is I, the? I, I tie your mom up. Reprimand for that. 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 I hold you for ransom. But I I'm just saying, she's an old that. lady. She need to just. Step down. Pump your brakes with. Um, pump, pump your brakes. Pump, please. I mean, because you please. know, even with the older people in your family, they tend to just say what they want and think that there is no consequence. Absolutely. So I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt. Whoopi, have a seat. Have Jason a seat. is not speaking of anything um, racist we play this in song this song. A couple of times now and listen to it thoroughly, like really... You know, dissected this song, and it's nothing, no hate, no racist, nothing. In like our song, opinion, in the song, in our opinion, you know, everybody, so. you know, people have their own minds and opinions. Wow. We didn't get that at all from the song. We agree one hundred percent. We stand by Jason Aldean, and that's just what. And it he's is. not even making a threat. He's making a threat if you come this way with that BS. And who wouldn't protect? <laughs> Who would not protect? Yeah, like their you know, town. And he's trying to have people. We need stick more together. people protecting towns. Come on. Yeah. You Most know, you, definitely. You can't just go in the store and, and, and have a gun and rob someone. Don't nobody want to deal with that. Most definitely. Or running not. up in stores and, and, and doing all these riots and stuff and burning up stuff and come on now. <sighs> That's just ridiculous. Guys, um, we want to thank you all for watching. We appreciate it. Um, wow, this is deep. It's really deep. Go ahead and smash that like button. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. And also get inside the comment section. And if you've got any uh, requests for us, good content requests, guys, um, we definitely want to react to it and you know speak on it. Most definitely. Good energy, good content. All right. All right, we're going to go ahead and put that in the books. We signing off. Appreciate you. s and Hit Squad. We thank you guys. All right. Hey, it's your boy, Sean. And your girl. Love your pieces. Mel. I love you more, babe. We love you guys. Have an amazing day on, on purpose. purpose.